I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end. Now this 55 years old male patient presented to me with complaints of uh, decreased vision, floaters, uh, something constantly moving uh, in my eye, especially while lying down um, and pain in the eyes. He had eventful cataract surgery done two months back uh, somewhere else when i examined him on slit lamp uh, i found single piece foldable eye well in anterior chamber that was moving and was also touching the peripheral cornea causing endothelial decompensation you can clearly see the opacified peripheral cornea there was pigment pigmented uh, vitreous mostly behind the eye well moving with ocular movements anterior chamber had mild reaction and flare pupil was irregular and iris chafing was evident as well now there was no capsular support on fundoscopy there was cystoid macular edema but thanks god no breaks or pseudophagic rd was seen but as Vitreous was causing traction because anterior vitreotomy was not properly performed and there were in, there were increased chances of RD in near future. Now I have seen many such cases especially in the periphery you are doing FACO definitely FACO because uh, foldable eye well has been implanted in the anterior chamber either you are not well versed with the technique or it's your bad luck and uh, you do PCR now posterior capsular rupture can happen from anybody it's not a big deal it's not a very big mistake but if you are not able to manage it properly then it's a big sin because when you are performing cataract surgery you should be able to deal with all its complications now suppose a big rent has occurred and you consider eye well placement in uh, and uh, there is no place in posterior chamber you don't have anterior vitrectomy machine also what should you do in my honest opinion if i am the surgeon i will try to cut all the vitreous uh, from the wound and anterior chamber with vena if there is no support i will constrict the pupil and put air bubble to see if it properly fills anterior chamber uniformly means i have removed all the vitreous and keep the patient aphakic and the next setting when inflammation settles i will go for scleral fixation uh, if uh, there is no option of scleral fixation uh, and i have the availability of aci well then i will implant aci well at the same setting but will never implant foldable PCI well in anterior chamber because you can see that it has got a small diameter it is not made for anterior chamber and it will move around in anterior chamber will touch endothelium will damage the angle will cause hyphema will cause raised intraocular pressure there will be foreign body sensation it can damage and rub the iris and cause inflammation so if my fellow ophthalmologists and eye care practitioners are watching this video and listening to me the take home message from this video is that never implant foldable eye well in the anterior chamber and Keep the patient a fake rather than putting a PC oil, PCI oil in the anterior chamber. So let's come to this case. His vision is counting finger and pressure is 25. So I have given him topical NSAIDs, topical steroids and anti-glaucoma medication to lower down his IOP and inflammation. And then we assess the options to remove this foldable eye well from anterior chamber, perform proper anterior vitrectomy and place either scleral fixation eye well or proper anterior chamber eye well. And we'll see that how it... Uh, follows because counting finger vision uh, is bad if vision was good we would have followed him for long thank you very much